Hi everyone, Daisy here with another layout for Ink Road Stamps. Today I am using the circle stamp set and I am stamping this all over my background. Um, I'm using some white cardstock that I have prepped with some clear gesso and then I am just going to town stamping these circles all over. I am using stays on black ink um, because of the gesso I wanted to make sure that it really went on well. And I am using almost all of the circles. Um, I think there's maybe just one that I don't use. And I'm pretty okay with if the stamping isn't the greatest because I am going to cover some of it up. Um, and also with the kind of sketchy nature of these stamps, you can't really tell if they're messed up really. <laughs> So I have all the stamps down and the ink is dried and I'm going to use some of my Distress Oxide ink and I'm going to add some splatters of color and this technique that I'm going to use is kind of one of my new favorites. Um, I don't know what to call it. It's kind of packaging splatters. I, I like it when there's bigger splatters. Um, and so all I'm doing is I'm using um, the packaging and just kind of my paintbrush to push the water off of the packaging to create the big drops of water or color. And yeah, I really like how that turns out. So I'm using all of the colors I have. I have um, Seedless Preserves, uh, Blueprint Sketch, I think, or Sketch Blueprint, something like that. Peacock Feathers and picked raspberry and cracked pistachio and I'm trying to dry these in between because I don't want them to mix together and become muddy colors so which of course I still do because I'm impatient and I can't wait for anything to dry so I am using my heat gun but still I'm even impatient for that so I'm just going to keep layering on the color here I'm also using a paper towel to help dry it off a little bit so that I can keep working. Um, this cracked pistachio though mixed with some of the seedless preserves and becomes kind of a brown color. But sometimes you just gotta let it go and figure hey I'll just cover it up later. So, so here it is dry and it did warp just a tiny, tiny bit, but that was more from the gesso than from the water that I used because I hardly used any water. Um, and I'm going to be doing this photo or scrapping this photo of me and my kids. We were at the Dells a few weekends ago and um, just looking for something to do. And we are walking around downtown and we happened to find the wild zone or something like that. And they had Blacklight 3D mini golf. Yes, it was amazing. So I don't know if my kids had a, have ever seen a blacklight before now, but um, between that and the 3D glasses, it was a good time. It was a good time. So we got this picture with this gorilla because it was like King Kong's uh, Mystery Island or whatever was the theme and so we took a picture with this and I just love the way it turned out and it really went really well with these circles I thought so I'm also adding some die cut pieces from Amy Tangerine's Shine On collection um, because again they're black and white and pink and some mint colors and they just went really really well with this I added some more circle stamps down at the bottom because I'm going to create another cluster down there. And then I decided I wanted to add some of these black um, flat back pearls. And some of them are just like a, not really a matte black, but they're just black. And then some of them are like a pearlescent black and they are perfect addition to this. And I'm just using some Zotz blings to stick these down. I find that that is the best way for these sorts of things. Um, they hold very well. So 
And then I knew I was getting close to done, but I felt like I wasn't quite there yet. So right now I am searching for my title and I thought I was going to use these um, thickers, but I'm not. Those ones are from Vicki Booten, the Kaleidoscope, Color Kaleidoscope collection. Instead, I'm going to use these ones and I don't remember what they're called. I apologize. If you really want to know, leave me a comment and I will find out for you though. And I'm just going to call this Blacklight Mini Golf because that's what it was. And I'm going to split up my title here because it didn't really need to go together. And then I am going to do a little work on my background. So I felt like it needed a little bit more something. So I'm going to cut off an inch from the top because there was nothing up at the top. And I'm going to use this paper here, and this is an Amy Tangerine Shine On paper. And I'm also going to use some of this black glitter cardstock. And I'm just going to create some kind of strips of paper at the top and the bottom of my layout. And I'm going to rough up the edges and then adhere them down. And I'm using my silhouette mat. This is a good tip. I'm using my silhouette mat because I can stick the strips of paper down. I can feed in these little black glitter strips here and then adhere everything down and it stays straight and I can get it to be 12 by 12 um, without trying to measure and whatever. Like it's a straight 12 by 12 and I know because it's stuck to my mat. So I just kind of pull it up and adhere everything down and then I'm just trimming off the excess here and then that's going to be it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Oh, head on over to the blog for more details and more close-up shots. Um, I'll have a link down below. Don't forget you can use my code DAISY10 for 10% off your next shop, uh, purchase in the shop. And if you are new here, click on the link down below. Um, for a one-time special discount. So thanks so much for watching. Bye! Beep.